I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Bro Jacks. <laughs> if you have to spend an hour to make the theater work, no one's gonna want to use it. Everything should just be there. You flick a switch and you're either batting or you're watching a movie. We could hang the projector. We're trying to put it in a spot where it doesn't detract from either one of the things. I like the stage a little bit better. There's all kinds of ways that this thing could go wrong. We want our ball to come shooting out of our machine at the exact same time as the pitcher releases his ball and it's gonna need to be precise. We're not exactly known for precision. For this dual purpose project, we'll hang a projector screen from the ceiling and a retractable movie screen from the stage. Flanking our screen will be two custom marquee posters, backlit with LED strip lights. To our classic theater seats, we'll add some new features, like Kevin's flip seat popcorn maker and my date slash drink holder. The theater space transforms to become a batting cage, complete with a pitching machine built from an old treadmill. The ball feeder will be synced up to a looped pitching video of Kevin and I on the mound, giving the illusion of a real baseball batting experience. This dual purpose project will give us yet another way to play and relax in the house. We decided to come out today and get little movie shots for our pitching machine. At one point in time, we had decided to start a softball team, so we got uniforms, and then I got cut. Okay, yeah, you got me? Gotcha. Don't have the camera. Kevin and I are trying to make this uh, little video loop of each of us pitching, and we're going to project it onto our screen, and then the ball's going to shoot through. And the batter will bat it, and it'll hopefully look like we're throwing the ball. My arm feels pretty good. I've got a little bit of a back injury. It's tough throwing, but all we really want is the motion. Okay, you ready? Uh, I couldn't imagine I could pitch the ball much more than 40 or 50 miles an hour, if that. Best pitch you've thrown all day. <laughs> we can't hit those balls either. Uh, it's definitely not in the uh, big range. A nice slow speed, I think, is going to be the right answer. That's probably where Junior's going to come in. He was really rusty looking today. I've got this little tiny motor out of a disco ball. It's going to slowly spin this going to allow a ball to go in and feed it through and fire it out. So the tough part is trying to line up the video and the actual throwing of the pitch. It needs to be on an interval that's really regular. Kevin's pretty nifty with all that software and the video editing suite. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. He's going to have to match whatever we come up with for machinery. About seven, seven or eight seconds. Cool. Can you work with that? Good. Yep. So the idea is to make a Blu-ray. Right now I'm just editing the video over pitching. I'm putting it on a seven second loop to match the interval of Walker's Hopper. And and I just got a few more minutes to make Andrew look good. Actually, that'll take a long time. This week, we added a batting cage theater to our family retreat. We finally got it all together, and right now we're just setting up the batting cage component on the stage. Ready? Yeah. It's a Walker's Hopper auto loader. Feeds the ball at about the same rate as the loop video. Am I too soon or too late? Right now, what we're doing is we're trying to time up the pitch <laughs> with the machine. Get the oh, yeah. Thank God you got that one. Just a little slower, a little slower, and finally we got it tuned in and people started hitting the ball. <laughs> Kevin did a really good job of the whole digital component of this thing. Check this out, boys. You can select your player and then a video of that player will play on the screen and it will seem to pitch a ball to us. Ball! Oh. oh! It was pretty fun. It's almost like a video game. It's a bit strange to see yourself up on the screen like that. Swing! Oh, and a miss. Uh, batting against me was very difficult. Oh, oh Walker, I thought you played ball. Come on. The pitching machine worked great. I wasn't sure we were actually going to be able to do it. Luckily, we had our geotechnical engineer here. Yes! Oh, <laughs> he kind of took it on as his project, and he kind of made it work. Nice! 